Jeez, this Bradley Beal news is extremely spicing up right now. We've seen that Bradley Beal has had some very unfortunate losses, carrying arguably the worst team in the league in the Washington Wizards. I mean, look, I, I don't even know. It's, it's a bit of a discussion on who is actually the worst team in the league. I mean, is it the Timberwolves or is it the Wizards? Because we look at it in a fact where the Timberwolves, a couple of their stars are injured all the time. But all around, I don't even know, the Wizards roster is just... Jeez, it's not something to be proud of. But again, this is another reason on why Bradley Beal is reportedly very unhappy and might potentially request a trade. It is currently being reported right now the Lakers really do want to get involved in a Bradley Beal trade. And this is all being reported by Woj. What's going on, everyone? And welcome back to the channel. Today, I've got some more NBA news to talk about with you guys. Again, this time, it's the continuation of... With more and more Bradley Beal news. I mean, more just keeps coming out every week. We had some previous Miami Heat news. I believe there's some Clippers news uh, news floating around as well. It's just a very interesting situation, you know, with Bradley Beal and the Wizards. And look, we've seen that Bradley Beal and the Wizards, they've been losing for so long now. And for the last two seasons, people are saying they've needed to trade him. And I've always said, uh, you know, to this point... They should keep Bradley Beal and just keep trying to build around him. But every year goes past and every year they somehow get worse. Whoever their GM is, he needs to be fired. Their coach, he needs to be fired. The whole team needs to be, you know, really blown up. I mean, Bertans needs to be traded. Beal needs to be traded. Westbrook needs to be traded, etc. But now they're in such a bad position because... Westbrook is really, he's really, really having a terrible season. I mean, the Wizards said vote, they put on a, one of their social medias, vote for Westbrook to be an all-star. And everyone in the comments, all the Wizards fans were saying, nah, nah, he's not an all-star. And it's an absolute fact, he's nowhere near to be an all-star this season. If he makes the all-star team, I will be extremely disappointed in the NBA. Because, I mean, again, he's nowhere near, he's having a terrible season. Um, Bertans is also having a terrible season. The team has no defense whatsoever. It is in a lot of trouble. And again, there are a lot of things that this team needs to do. And again, it's going to take a lot of time for them to go out and do it. Again, if I was them, I would be trading Bradley Beal now at this point because it's really inevitable that he is going to leave in free agency because look, he's not staying. It's just not happening. I would be so surprised. Like, the disservice that this team has done for him by not building a team around him is terrible. I mean, look look at John Wall now. John Wall is having a better season than what Russell Westbrook is, and they gave up a first-round pick to get Westbrook to the team, even though I believe it is protected. That's not the point. Even though it is protected, they still gave it up and still traded Wall for, you know, Westbrook, and even though at the time I thought, well, Westbrook's probably still a better player than Wall. I was always very low on Westbrook. I knew he was going to decline heaps this season. I had mentioned it before. He was terrible in the playoffs of the Houston Rockets, and he wasn't even like a top three player for them. I mean, Eric Gordon and Robert Covington and James Harden were all better than what Westbrook was in the playoffs. So, again, he is just an absolute train wreck of a player right now. They should trade Beal. Um, I... Don't know. I'm, if they were to trade him to the Lakers, they could definitely get back a lot of assets. If I was trading him to the Lakers, I'd be definitely trying to bring in players like Alex Caruso, you know, KCP, etc. I feel like Alex Caruso would be perfect for this team because of the defense that he does add. Um, not just that, in the draft, I would be going after a defensive player. You know, I'm trying to think of a player. I, one that I would think of is like an Isaac Okoro type of player who the Cavs drafted at pick five. Just a great perimeter defender that can guard one through four. I feel like that's what the Wizards need. I feel like they need to go to free agency and try and sign some, you know, defenders as well. For example, if I was them, I don't think I'd offer Andre Drummond a contract because they really need to start rebuilding. But role players like Dante Exum, etc., who, you know, are currently in a weird spot in their career, I feel like they should try and get because those type of role players are relatively pretty good defenders here and there as well. Even Alonzo Ball. Alonzo Ball, it'd be cool to see them offer him a contract, and I think they might even go ahead and try and do that. But again, this team needs to improve their defense so much, and it's going to take a long time for them to do it. And I could definitely see them, you know, if they trade 
Bradley Beal, they're going. They're, I don't even know how they're going to win a game, to be honest. I mean, their team is solely re reliant on Bradley Beal now at this point, and Westbrook barely even plays, and when he does, he's pretty trash. So I, I don't even know what team would even trade for Westbrook. One team that I'm thinking of that might be interested in him is actually like the Bucks, like a team like the Bucks who are contending that are willing to spend a lot more money than what, you know, they've currently got right now. I mean, like, look, the Bucks reportedly were going to offer, um, you know, Brogdon a big $20 million per year deal and still going to try and get other players in free agency. So, again, trying to get a player like Westbrook wouldn't be the worst thing for them to go and do, even though take them over the cap by quite a bit. And who knows, the Wizards might be able to get something out of him. I, I don't even know what they'd get. Even Hachimura, I feel like Hachimura could get traded to someone. Who knows who would that be? Maybe the Sixers, that would be kind of cool. But again, what would the Lakers have to trade to get Bradley Beal to the team? Well, in my opinion, it would probably be Alex Caruso, Kyle Kuzma, uh, KCP, and probably like three future first round picks or something like that. That's what it would probably be. They're obviously not going to trade Marcus Gasol because if they trade a Marcus Gasol, He's leave, He's retiring or leaving in free agency. Well, I'm thinking just retire. Montrez Harrell as well would just leave in free agency most likely to a contending team. Who, who even knows what would happen? It's a very interesting situation. I don't know what you know what team they'd get the most you know out of Beal, but their priority should be getting defenders. And a player like Alex Caruso is a great defender. Even KCP, who's a good you know perimeter defender here and there. Kuzma, who's not a great defender, but I mean, look, you got to get some scoring in here and there um, to make up for the 35 points per game or so that you lose from Beal. Um, and again, first round picks always help, of course. So that's what I'd probably do if I was, you know, if I was them. They might even get more than three future first round picks because Drew Holiday did actually get traded for about three future first round picks. And I don't think he's as worth as much as that. And I Obviously, Bill's a lot better than what Drew Holiday is. So, again, it's going to be a very interesting situation to see how this is all going to go. Of course, I'd very much like to hear all of your thoughts and opinions on this. Do you guys think the Washington Wizards should trade Bradley Bill? Do you guys think the Los Angeles Lakers should trade for him? Again, I definitely would like to know all of your thoughts and opinions on this down below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for all the latest sports-related content news. Don't forget to subscribe to my gaming channel, Emma Iro slash Long Channel. Don't forget to check out my podcast as well if you haven't already. Links for them will all be in the description down below. But as I was saying, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure to leave a like, subscribe, and comment. And I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.